Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, today we are going to see about the term uh, entrepreneurship or entrepreneur or the process of entrepreneurship. <laughs> and before starting my session, this is a simple question to my dear audience, to my dear students, who is an entrepreneur? Right? If any one of you ready to answer me, kindly answer me in the chat box. I'm eagerly waiting to see your answers. In your point of view, who will be called as an entrepreneur? Or what is the basic quality to become an entrepreneur? Because this is the core topic we are going to discuss on today's session. Who will be an entrepreneur? Okay, let me give the information about the entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is an action-oriented person. He is a highly motivated individual who takes risks to achieve goals. An entrepreneur is an individual who sets up business or businesses, identifies and solves problems for the betterment of the society, is called an entrepreneur. This definition was given by uh, Smita. Thank you so much for your kind contribution to the success of this webinar. Right. So, entrepreneur is an action oriented person. Right. And in a simple definition, means entrepreneur is not a job seeker, they will be the job providers for the society. Right. Those who are generating job opportunities for others will be called as an entrepreneur, right? <clears throat> With this example, I have to uh, define the exact role of entrepreneurship to you, right? Uh, before that, there is a simple uh, difference between the self-employer and entrepreneur. Is there any difference between self-employer and entrepreneur? If so, kindly tell me. Otherwise, I will give you the exact meaning of the self-employer or the entrepreneur. Good morning, sir. This is Pratima Research Scholar, Hindustan. Okay. Uh, self-employer means uh, he will be called as an self-employer, right? Okay. And the second image will be called as an entrepreneur. Clear? So the basic difference between the self-employer and the entrepreneur is self-employer, those who are doing their full jobs by himself only, right? The whole business process will depend on a single person will be called as an self-employer. the middle image there is a person who is packing some snacks and he is going to sell and earn profit from this and he is the only person doing the business process from the beginning to till the end right from getting the raw materials and he is going to convert the raw materials into a product and the product will be converted into a final product for the customers, right? And in this business, the whole profit and losses will going to bear by only him. For example, there is some auto rickshaw drivers or there in our society, right? If the auto rickshaws are owned by a single person, he is the only person going to manage the whole safari, right? On that situation, that auto rickshaw owner will be called as a self-employer, not a businessman. Okay, this is the first information about self-employed. But who is be 
will be called as a businessman or an entrepreneur sir an entrepreneur or a businessman those who are generating job opportunities for the others is called as an entrepreneur or a businessman right in the last image there is a shop uh, having so much of snacks in that in that for the shop there will be a owner and that owner have given job opportunities for two or three employees working on this shop right so this is the basic difference between self employer and entrepreneur self employer means the whole business process will be done by a single person he will be called as an self employer in the second session now uh, in the second image entrepreneur is going to provide job opportunities for some other people right this will be called as an entrepreneur and the second difference between a businessman versus entrepreneur is there any difference between entrepreneur and uh, businessman yes surely there is some difference between a businessman and an entrepreneur right and let's see the difference between businessman and entrepreneur and can any one of you recall this familiar face in india if so you can tell me the answers in the chat box who is this familiar person yes thank you so much habib roshan thank you so much this is the exact information purushottam and dhruv thank you so much he is the icon of india right mukesh ambani the son of dhirubhai ambani clear right and now tell me who is the second familiar person in this elon musk thank you so much purushottam and sarika pawar your informations or the exact information the first one name is mukesh ambani the second one is elon musk right is there any difference between these two people yes there is some difference between these two people and one people will be called as an businessman and another person will be called as an entrepreneur right yes sarika pawar you can explain me the difference between these two roles in the chat box and everyone will see our information the first one businessman will do the business process as an traditional one so in their business process there should there will be no uh, creativity or there will be no innovations in their business process for example the father of mukesh ambani dhirubhai ambani started the industry of reliance right reliance industry and he started some business ideas and that business ideas was take over by mukesh ambani and he is quietly operating the same process for earning much more profits right so mukesh ambani the icon of india will be called as a best businessman in india right because he is doing business for making huge amount of profits there is no innovations or creativity was found by this person okay so we are calling mukesh ambani as a businessman business magnet clear yeah. but on the other side of elon musk we are going to call elon musk as an entrepreneur and mukesh ambani as a businessman and why we are call elon musk as an entrepreneur entrepreneur running new ideas or having more creativity yes thank you so much sarika power your information is the exact information you given me the perfect answer right elon musk is the person who has all the um, biggest creativities in the recent years right elon musk is the hottest topic elon musk is best uh, known as the co-founder and uh, chief executive officer of the company called tesla right he started tesla in the year 2003 this tesla has an automaker right and elon musk having seven electric vehicle models to his credit right out of these seven 
four was currently in the market and remaining rest three is under production right is under process so he invented seven electric vehicles seven electric light motor vehicles that means electric cars in the year 2003 itself okay so tesla's headquarters is in texas okay and apart from that tesla having the most providers of power pack to the whole us right in the year 2016 uh, tesla the company tesla acquired a whole city as solar city in the us for leading provider of solar panels uh, power walls a power pack mega pack uh, solar roofs etc right and apart from this tesla elon musk having one more brand called spacex right this spacex is an aerospace company founded by elon musk in the year 2002 right and he is the lead designer at uh, spacex right and spacex is clearly especially making space crafts and rockets for missions to earth orbit and ultimately to other planets also right so there will be some differences between mukesh ambani and elon musk mukesh ambani is doing business activities in the regular mode but elon musk is doing their business activities through their innovations creativities right so elon musk is creating much more inventions for the betterment of this society right uh, like elon musk we can called uh, john steve jobs we can call bill gates right because each every one of this webinar having your own smartphone right but that smartphone was invented by marketed by steve jobs the ceo of apple right so he invented the concept of that smartphone touch screen he is having the whole patent of the industrial design of smartphones right and bill gates we already knows that charles babbage is the father of computers but bill gates is called as the father of software right okay clear uh spacex angel investors boring company opel ai companies of elon musk yes thank you so much because he brings new business ideas and strategies thank you dhruv tesla motors ceo yes tesla motors is the leadest motor manufacturing in the universe right he already take over the lamborghini ferrari right yes now we are moving to our next concept uh, yes if i can say this in a very layman example that means a businessman who is doing their business like this for example if i am a businessman right i am going for a market and purchasing some raw materials and i will sell the raw materials into some products and having some just amount of profit will be called as a businessman for example i went for a market i and i purchased some bananas All right and i came to my area and sold that bananas into customers for some minimum amount of profit will be called as a businessman All right and in the second concept entrepreneur entrepreneur will do the same think of business with some creativity with some changes right businessman going for a market and purchasing some bananas came back and sold the same bananas for some profits will be called as a businessman right but in the entrepreneur the same entrepreneur going for purchasing bananas from the market and went back to to his area and converting that banana into a fruit juice right a fruit salad a fruit custard 
and make much more amount of profits from the same product from the same product right this will be called as an entrepreneur this is the basic difference between businessman businessman is doing the regular activities of business but the entrepreneur is doing some changes doing some creativity doing some innovations in the same business process clear and the third concept will be called as an yes thank you dhruv entrepreneur makes things more attractive and interesting right while seeing that product the customers are getting addicted getting attractive to consume that product will be called as an entrepreneur yes the exact information given by dhruv and the third concept is consultant consultant is nothing but a person who is guiding us to get more profits from the process right this will be called as an infopreneur or it will be called as an consultant or it will be called as an mentor right so he is getting much more amount of profit for giving the exact information on how to convert a product into a business right how to convert a product into a business he is called as an mentor right and the mentor is charging some amount of money for their service so these are the basic things we have to know about business about entrepreneur about mentor or consultant clear yeah. right and now we are going to move about some basic definitions about the entrepreneur and i think all of you may know about this entrepreneur a person whose goal is to create or capitalize on new economic opportunities through innovation right and the second one entrepreneurship process through which entrepreneurs create and grow their enterprises into an multi dimensional one will be called as an entrepreneurship and the third one will be called as an entrepreneurial community entrepreneurial community is nothing but uh, creating a community where major economic and social entrepreneurial activity actually within an effective system of public and private support right so gathering all the um, entrepreneurs that means and homogeneous entrepreneurs will be called as an entrepreneurial community for example i am gathering all the academicians right all the academicians all the engineers all the advocates and these are not called as an entrepreneur sorry if i am gathering all the uh, solar panel business people in a single roof will be called as an entrepreneurial community right uh, we all we all know about the associations of some areas right and the four last one is entrepreneurship development for promoting entrepreneurship there are so many policies was made by our government right and now the prime minister of india modi ji is promoting so much of schemes so much of policies so much of training activities skill development courses or providing to encourage the entrepreneurship among the young generations of india because you people will be the game changer of the future right and uh, why should i an entrepreneur is there any specific reasons yes the first one is the ultimate motto of starting a business or starting our own startup is to get unlimited money right while i am going for a job i will get some limited amount of money as my salary right i will get some limited amount of money as my salary but i will get the same amount in each and every month right but if i started my own venture surely i will get my unlimited profit if i am perfectly concentrating on my business surely my business will reward me with a huge success right 
and the second one is don't want to have a bond right that is the best mindset of an entrepreneur no one should be act as my boss i am my boss and i should lead my business right the third one is free and independent while you are acting as an entrepreneur you should be an independent person you have not going to depend on anyone and you will be a free bird you can do as you wish right the fourth one is passionate about leading as well passionate about learning right and i missed the word learning <coughs> because learning leads our business a huge success as a customer they are ready to adopt the new things right if we have to learn about the things which are needed by the customers we are going to focus on the demands of the customers otherwise we we'll, we are not going to focus on the new demands of the customers one we are not able to continue our learning process right and the first one is ready to take risk those who are risk taker will be act as an entrepreneur in the first slide itself we mentioned this word those who are having the risk taking ability will be the huge success entrepreneurs right and the next point creativity and innovation this is the best quality which should be have by an entrepreneur because without innovation or without creativity the person will not be called as an entrepreneur and that person without any innovation or creativity will be called as a businessman only right and next point beyond regular life those uh, for example mukesh ambani is doing their regular life will be called as a businessman because even though he, are, he is doing their regular life he is earning most profit but elon musk is doing the same activities beyond their life cycle right so entrepreneur should be an person who is going to act beyond this life right and business ruler both people will be a business ruler for example tata azim prem ji right adani so these are called as an business ruler as simultaneously we have elon musk we have steve jobs right we have sundar pichai you know and the last one impact on economic development with your business there should be some impact on the development of our nation right so these are the main reasons we why you have convert yourself as an entrepreneur right and this roles of an entrepreneur entrepreneur is a hard worker yes entrepreneur is a risk bearer yes entrepreneur is the organizer he is the person going to organize the entire activities of their business right an entrepreneur is the achiever entrepreneur is the innovator or the inventor entrepreneur will be a job provider not an job seeker right and finally entrepreneur is an economy developer okay because with his contribution the economy of the nation will be surely high and this is the exact image of an entrepreneur or of an <coughs> businessman right while starting your business on the planning area there should there will be no obstacles on your success of your business right but in the reality situation there are a lot of obstacles there are lot of struggles you have to face to reach your success if you cross the over the obstacles if you are ready to face the your challenges you will be a successful person because once you faced your challenges you know how to tackle them right on facing some challenges you have to find out some tricks you have to find some shortcuts to tackle with your creative mindset clear right so this is the image i want to show you how you should be train yourself for doing a best business and this these are the skills needed by an entrepreneur
because without these skills we persons cannot act as an entrepreneur the first one is patience and curiosity these two words are in some different angles patience and curiosity right the encourage teamwork keep the focus on balancing communicating and network building business and management knowledge decision making and time management market position and customer study implementing different strategies on sales and promotions create wealth while think outside the box like for example the, from the first the entrepreneur should be a patient one and he is the person of having most curiosity to develop their business because curiosity makes us to think beyond the box right if we think beyond the box we can able to create or we can able to generate or we can able to give the best products to the customer right and the second one encourage teamwork team means your whole business team you have to encourage your team from the basic element to the higher official then only the business team will work proper on the business process third one keep the focus on balancing balancing means you have to balance your family and business you have to balance your liabilities and assets you have to balance your incomes and expenses right so that focus on balancing in each and every aspect should be an needed skill for an entrepreneur right the fourth one is building communication and network for an entrepreneur or a, for a businessman communicating is the exact asset to de- develop his business potential right the next one is business and management knowledge so those who are having knowledge on business as well they have to have their knowledge or they have to build their knowledge on management also right so we have to know some knowledge about the process we have to know some knowledge about the marketing we have to some knowledge about auditing we have some knowledge about tax right and we have some knowledge about the communications also how we are going to communicate with our customer how we are going to communicate with the government right so we have to develop we have to increase our potentials on this business and management skills and next one decision making and time management decision making is the most 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 important quality or important skill to act as an entrepreneur right because making right decisions on the right time will make you as a huge successful person otherwise your success will not be celebrated by others right and the next one study the market position and customers mindset study the market position and customers mindset so as an entrepreneur as a businessman we have to study the position the strategy of the market as well we have to know what are the needs of the customer what are the expectations of the customer then only we are able to fulfill the expectations of the customers otherwise we are not able to satisfy the de- demands of the customer then our business process will not go further the last before point is implementing different sales strategies um, promoting and product or promoting a service is the highest challenges of business or of a corporate in the current scenario right making a business product is not a challenge for the corporate now itself but promoting and business product is the highly challenging for one for the corporates because now we have different varieties of promotional strategies using by our corporate so we have to promote our product in the best platform to showcase our products to the customer then only it will reach with a huge number of audience then only our product will achieve the 
success ratio and final create wealth while think outside the box right create wealth while think outside the box we have to invest our mind our energy our money in a proper place for creating maximizing and wealth of the business right and this is the iceberg illusion and in the last image itself i explained it once you achieve your business as a grand success all the society all the people will focus on your success only right all the people will focus on your success of the business only no one will focus on your efforts on your sacrification on your failures right on your dedications on your balancing right so you have to showcase these also for the future generation then only they are able to manage these kinds of skills otherwise they may not able to to develop these kinds of skills for their success also right and now we are moving to types of entrepreneurs in this types of entrepreneurs i segregated into traditional entrepreneur and trending entrepreneur right traditional entrepreneur means uh, trading entrepreneur manufacturing entrepreneur agricultural entrepreneur technical entrepreneur and so on up to cultural entrepreneur and there are so many entrepreneurs in the traditional types itself but in the trending entrepreneurs the first one will be called as technopreneur the second one will be called as intrapreneur third one will be called as infopreneur fourth one ecopreneur women preneur young preneur teen preneur trans preneur agri preneur cyber preneur and so on and so on to discuss so these are the trending types of entrepreneurs in the current scenario right in the present era in the present era technopreneur technopreneur means we already discussed about the person elon musk right he is the person who is going to do their business with the huge technology right okay because this tesla tesla means solar packing manufacturing as well man manufacturing motor cycles with electricity right electric motor vehicles manufacturing is the what of tesla right and spacex so these two business process is only done by technology so as we are going to discuss about technopreneurship i think elon musk is the best example to explain about the term technopreneurship right and intrapreneurship intrapreneurship is nothing but uh, we can say sundar pichai right we can say sundar pichai can any one of you uh, tell me the founder of google or the ceo of google yes sundar pichai ceo of google right yes we all know that sundar pichai is the ceo of google but can any one of you tell me who is the founder or the owner of the google i think for this question the founder or the owner of the google is larry page yes thank you purushottam one and i think this larry page answer is the exact answer and he got this answer from google i think right i am not sure because we all know about sundar pichai and he is acting as the ceo of google right sergey bin okay uh, let me check who is the owner of google and uh, google will answer me owner of google because i am also having no idea about this owner of google 
Sajin, Bring, and Lightpage. These two persons are the founders of Google. Right? Thank you so much for your answers. Uh, where is my presentation? Just a second. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I think, I think. Yes, I think my screen is now visible. Uh, on discussing about the intrapreneurship, right? Uh, Larry Page and Saji Birin is the founders of Google and he is the exact owners of the Google. But Google is earning so much of profits through the skills of the CEO Sundar Pichai, right? Sundar Pichai is not the owner of Google, right? He is not going to enjoy the whole profit of Google, right? He is an employee of Google, but intrapreneur means an employee is going to act like a boss of the business will be called as an intrapreneur, right? For example, in the case of Google, the owner of the Google, we people may not know much information about the owner of Google because they two peoples are not doing anything for the development of Google. The person Sundar Pichai is the single person and he is the CEO, CEO of Google. He is the exact person for developing more and more for the growth of Google, right? This is the best example for intrapreneur, right? For example, technopreneur, Elon Musk is the founder, Elon Musk is the inventor, and Elon Musk is the person who is going to enjoy the whole profit. And he will be called as a technopreneur. But in the intrapreneur, Sundar Pichai is the CEO. He is an employee of Google, but Larry Page is the owner of the Google. These huge profits is made by the efforts of an employee, Sundar Pichai, but that whole profit will going to enjoy it by Larry Page, the founder of the Google, right? So this will be called as an intrapreneur. Infopreneur means gathering so much of information from the society and converting that so much of information into an passage, right? Getting that information in a SQL manner and converting that SQL into public into society and uh, in some amount of money will be called as an in infopreneurship. For best example of infopreneur, uh, those who are doing a uh, tourist guide profession will be called as an infopreneur, right? Okay, uh, I am a new person to Guntur, right? And I visited Guntur uh, so many places and getting so much of information about that tourist places, right? And Guntur will be a uh, best tourist place for foreigners. So many foreigners are visiting Guntur. And at that time, I'm going to act as a tourist guide for that foreign people, right? I'm converting that information into a SQL and converting, uh, saying that SQLs to foreign touristers and getting some amount of money as profits from them will be called as an infopreneur. And echo pruner, iman pruner, young pruner, you peoples or the young generations and young generations entrepreneurs will be called as an young pruner. Teenage entrepreneurs will be called as an teen pruner, right? Transpreneurship means transgender peoples, those who are doing entrepreneurship process will be called as an transpreneurship, right? And in the traditional is also one agricultural entrepreneur. And in the trending one, also agripreneur. Is there any difference between these two? Yes. Agricultural entrepreneur is those who are doing agricultural activities will be called as an agricultural entrepreneur, right? 
but agripreneur is those who are doing their business process for getting best outputs from the agricultural will be called as an agripreneur right and cyberpreneurs we all know that cyberpreneur will be the next upcoming future of entrepreneurship right okay and with this i'm going to move to the next slide or entrepreneurs are born or entrepreneurs are made can any one of you i am expecting some answers from you entrepreneurship or made or entrepreneurs are born i think some entrepreneurs are born and some entrepreneurs are made habib roshan thank you so much some entrepreneurs are born yeah for example dhirubhai ambani is the founder of reliance industries ambani group and mukesh ambani is the son of dhirubhai and as in the born itself he was an businessman and he got the business skills from his father but in the term of elon musk how many of you know about the parents of elon musk we know the potentials of the elon musk we know the success ratios of the elon musk we know about the creativities inventions made by elon musk but how many of us knows about something about the parents of elon musk so in the case of elon musk he was made as an entrepreneur right but in the case of tata he was born as an entrepreneur right but the final conclusion is the exact answer is the combination of both so as an entrepreneur he should be a born entrepreneur or he must be a made entrepreneur right but mostly combination of born and made will be make as a successful entrepreneur right right uh, now we are going to see about the pillars of india that means the businessmen of india the biggest businessmen of india right uh can anyone of you recall the recall this person i'm eagerly waiting for your answers in the chat box okay i will going to talk much about this person right and uh, he we already discussed about this person mukesh ambani right and this third image was anil ambani the youngest son of dhirubhai right so from the right first one he will be called as the founder of ambani industries sorry reliance industries sorry right from the right <clears throat> this is the person of the founder of reliance industries dhirubhai ambani right and the second one mukesh ambani he is the first son of ambani and in the from the left he will be called as an anil ambani he is the second son of dhirubhai ambani right okay oh sorry uh, two images were simultaneously came the first one from the right tata second one metal azim narayanan info shivnadar the ceo of hcl godrej and anand mahindra and anand mahindra right so these are the best 
business icons of india clear those uh, now we are going to see about dirbani sorry dirban dirbai ambani he was born on the year 1932 right he is the founder of reliance industries reliance capital reliance infrastructure reliance power and etc right reliance has made their business in each and every segments of the business opportunities in india right he has two children mukesh ambani and anil ambani he got his padma vibhushan award in the year 2016 right but in the year 2002 itself he was passed away what are the success of dirbai ambani why he will be called as an most successful entrepreneur most successful businessman in india think big think fast think ahead ideas are no one's monopoly right this is the best slogan given by dirubai ambani sir what about patanjali yes i missed about patanjali and i missed about the uh, biggest crorepati in india now the adani group right and i missed these two persons sorry okay uh, in my next session surely i will include this patanjali group and adani group okay thank you so much for your reminder tarika power thank you so much so think big think fast and think ahead ideas are no one's monopoly right yes uh, he was born at dirajlal to a moth family in a small town he started his first entrepreneurship by selling chaat pakoda to pilgrims at mount girnar in gujarat right so this person is also from the state of gujarat most of the modern day businessmen have higher degrees with them but do you know that this business tycoon of india had just 10th standard only right he is an sslc holder but with this schooling education he uh, achieved so many things in their business at the age of 16 he made his first foreign trip in 1952 Mm, sorry 1955 to aden in yemen and he left his home to join his brother ramniklal while in aden his first job was that of a gas station attendant he got his first salary of rupees 300 in a bc and co there he was started his business as a cotton okay the success of dirbai ambani continuations meeting the deadlines is not good enough beating the deadlines is my expectation okay so uh, meeting the deadlines means achieving the success is not the real success we have to beat the success with our efforts he is called as an exact success this statement was also given by dirbai ambani right and there was so many information about this business icon of india right his first office was at uh, mumbai with two tables one telephone and three chairs right he founded a company called reliance commercial corporation along with his brother in the year 1960 right and this commercial corporations was made for import and exports of wheat products clear and he made a huge loss in this after this he made some textile businesses he made some amount of profits after that he is keeping this sorry not keeping he is developing his business potentials to each and every segment of the process right and the movie guru was made as an inspiration of the life of dirbai ambani right those who saw the movie can easily understand the life cycle of the business power dirubai ambani right now we move to mukesh ambani uh, dirubai ambani is the most successful businessman in india we already know that now uh, he has two sons mukesh ambani and anil ambani while comparing these two people mukesh ambani is now acting as the uh, most busiest businessman but 
Anil Ambani has not signing like Mukesh Ambani because Anil Ambani made some mistakes while doing his business, right? On the death of Dhirubha Ambani, his mother has segregated Dhirubha Ambani's projects into two categories, one for Mukesh Ambani and one for Anil Ambani, right? Mukesh Ambani ruled it in an effective manner and successed a lot, but Anil Ambani has not ruled his business in an effective way and he lost so much of business potentials through their business, right? And uh, An Mukesh Ambani is acting as the superman of Indian economy, right? Nearly 35 percentage of the Indian economy is depending on the single core company airlines, right? Anil Ambani, Ratan Tata is the next huge icon of India, right? He was born in the year 1937 at Surat, right? Uh, we can call it as an Ratan Tata, okay? He's the grandson of J.D. Tata. <coughs> he got Padma Bhushan Award in the year 2000, <coughs> Padma Vibhushan Award in the 2008, Right, and he is the chairman of Tata Sons and Tata Group. Right, facts about Ratan Tata. Ratan Tata is the person who invented the low cost of nano cars, low cost of cars called as nano cars. But in the recent uh, interview, he revealed that information about nano car. Why nano cars got some failures? Right, and he said that. Mm. While promoting my nano car, I made some mistakes on promotion of my cars because on my promotional time, I made a word the cheapest car in India. We can have a car with rupees one lakh, right? So, nano car will be the cheapest car in India. That was the mistake I made on promoting my car, on promoting my brand, on promoting my product instead of the cheapest car i should use the word most affordable car in india right so best cheapest car and best most affordable car these two words having most impact if i used most affordable car as nano car surely nano car will be a huge success one like tata indico but Nano cars was the cheapest car I made, and it made me to bear the losses. Right. So this is the inf this is the information he revealed in an interview. Right. And some glimpse about the Tata Group. First, Tata Trust has pledged 500 crore, and now Tata Sons to donate additional 1,000 crores to fight against coronavirus. We all know about Tata Group have donated 1,500 crores, right? 150 hundred crores of amount to the welfare of Corona Relief Fund. Not only 1,500 crores, if my country is in trouble, I am ready to donate my whole property. This statement was given by the same Ratan Tata, right? And he is the best person, he is the only person who is having more patriotism on his nation, right? He is ready to sacrifice the whole earnings for the for his nation, right? Uh, Ratan Tata is not the richest person in India because he donate his 60 percentage, sorry, 66 percentage of earnings every year, right? We already discussed about Mukesh Ambani, Dhirubha Ambani. These two people are the most successful businessmen, most richest people in India. But why we are not talking about the person Tata? Because Ambani is earning so much and the earnings will be held by him only. So he become the richest person in India. But while the case of Tata, Tata is earning so much of money from the society and he pay back the profits to his nations through dividends, 
through donations through uh, welfare activities through csr activities right nearly 66 percentage of the earnings of tata were return back to the nations every year right uh, after 1500 crore another surprise from ratan tata right ratan tata is all is also donated some amount of money for the relief of pakistan from the corona right and this is the most identical information about dhirubhai ambani and ratan tata these two people were born on 28th december on the same day on the same day okay dhirubhai ambani was born in the year of 1932 on 28th december ratan tata was born on 1937 on the same 28th december right dhirubhai ambani and ratan tata having the same day as date of birth right and sunil bharti metal ajim prem ji sunil bharti metal is the founder and ceo of atel right we all know much more about the atel ajim prem ji the ceo of the wipro right wipro was initially started as an textile business but he is the leading it operator in india right narayan murthy the ceo of uh, one of the ceo of the infosys shiv nadar he is the ceo of the hcl groups adi godrej is the ceo of the godrej company anand mahindra is the ceo of mahindra mahindra groups right so with this the last slogan was why wait till i am 40 when i can do it at 20 right so i wish all of you to start your own business in your age at 20 because in the early stage our parents are waiting till the age of 40 because they have no back support for starting their business so they have to earn some amount of money to start their business for earning some amount of money they spend nearly 20 to 30 years for earning such amount of money to start their business but now you can start your own business you can start your own venture without a single paise without a single paise without any money you can start your own business right and kindly think before starting your business that means you should be an businessman or you should be an entrepreneur right because for an entrepreneur you have to spend much amount of brain right we have to identify what are the problems in the society and we have to find what are the possible ways to solve this problem and we have to adopt the best easiest way easiest problem to solve that and that will be called as an entrepreneur entrepreneur is nothing but creating invention and converting that invention into a commercial product will be called as an entrepreneur right okay for example uh, inventing a telephone inventing a bulb is not an entrepreneur right he is an inventor but converting that invention into a commercial product making huge amount of profits from that single idea will be called as an entrepreneur businessman technopreneur clear yeah. so please think about what are the problems we are having in our daily life think think on that repeatingly think on that about that problems and at some situations we can able to find some possible solutions to eradicate that solution sorry eradicate that problem from our society right if the idea was a worthy one so many capital ventures are there to support you right so many capital ventures are there to support you so don't think about the money to start your own business right and this is the line why wait till i am 40 when i can do it at 20 right 
uh, with this i am going to conclude my session thank you so much for all your patience if you have any doubts 